Hello, I'm Mary V. Today let's talk about playing on the E string and shifting. So when you're shifting on the E string there are special things you need to do with your left hand and your bow, but we'll talk about the left hand first. In the lower positions your thumb is at the side and just in a natural position, just in a natural position. And as you go up, well, third position up to maybe fifth, your thumb starts to slide under the curved uh, saddle here until it's underneath. And that enables your hand to slide up. The outside and of the hand here uh, stops touching the violin as you go up. And if you're really high, you can release your thumb even more to get right to the top. Depends what size your hand is really. There's quite a lot of contact with the violin and that's your guide. For example, up here, my hand is touching the violin and I'll show you exactly where it's touching. Right there. That's my little ruler to show you where my hand is touching. And that's part of the thing that guides me to know where I am, it orientates my hand. So the actual shoulder of the violin here is something that you feel with the lower part of your hand here. And that tells you where you are. Uh, imagine a top note and get used to the feel of actually where it is. Supposing I want to reach a G. So what I'm doing there is not magically knowing where the G is, but I can feel it in the thumb and the, the hand. I'll just use my little transparent ruler again and I'll show you what I can feel with my hand as I'm up there. The inside part of my hand, I can feel the violin. And that's part of what guides me to be able to know the right note. So just with my imagination and my feeling, Um, so you can do a, a, quite a lot of that. You need to do quite a lot of um, aiming for the note and don't worry if it's out of tune because that just tells you how to adjust until you're more or less in the right ballpark. Okay, so that's hitting a note without any um, sliding, without any other help, just by feel. So that's one of the big things about playing on the E string is playing by feel in the inside part of the hand. So another way to uh, shift, and this is where the, the bow starts coming in, is if we do a shift, say, from F sharp to A, and we're going from a first finger. So the first finger goes all the way up to an octave, the top F sharp, and then we're able to just place our third finger down. So the first way to practice it is let the whole thing be heard equally, just with even bow strokes, so that you can hear the slide up. You know exactly what you're doing. And once you've got that fairly okay, the next thing is to do that with your eye shut, so that you can feel it. Don't just rely on sight. Uh, do it by feel. So close your eyes and do it again. But think about where your, your hand is touching the violin. Do you see? My hand is touching. That's the exact spot, the inside of my hand. And that's what you need to um, incorporate, as well as thinking about the fingers. So spend some time feeling what the hand is doing as it's going up. This is really important because 
the more feeling you can get in this part of the hand, the more awareness, the better your shifting will be. Spend a lot of time doing this because it's actually a, a roadmap for your hand. The more you do it, the more muscle memory will kick in and it will really help you. So the next thing is to hide the slide. So make it less obvious. So it's still there, but in the middle, when you're doing the slide, you lighten the bow and then you reach the top note and it's a normal bow. So let's go from the F sharp to the A again. Okay, so when you can make the slide imperceptible, it's still there. And you've just made it as low a level as you possibly can. Then when you get to the top, play some vibrato. Okay, now do all this quite slowly, work up to it. Just keep it very simple. Just do a little bit of vibrato at the top. Now let's go a little faster. So eventually the mechanics of how you shift will be revealed or hidden, but they're always able um, to be heard by you, but not necessarily by the audience. So it's a question of lightening the bow. There's always sounds that a violinist hears up close, um, which are guide sounds, and you don't necessarily want the audience to hear it. But quite often I do. I want, I, you know, when you listen to concertos, you listen to fantastic violinists on YouTube, you can hear the shifts. So there's a massive amount of choice really for what you want to do. I think getting the mechanics right um, is opening it out and listening to everything that you do. So um, next time we'll talk about uh, the default bow weight when we're on the E string. But I hope uh, these tips have helped you and good luck with your shifting. Um, bye for now.